So you know when you are working on web apps that displays multiple tables on different pages and you have to sort of include some sort of um, data filtering actions. In this video, we will build a date range component that allows us to easily filter data on different pages. So let's give it a try. We select the starting date. And then we select an end date. So the date range is going to be from the first to the second, and then we filter. And then if you look in the console, we see the end date and then the start date. This is the object we are going to send over. And this is the response that we got from the API. So you see this JSON um, object that has been returned. So yeah. Now let's look in the code and see what we are doing. So I have an action folder in components and the filter by date component in there. And then we have a prop uh, as module name. So yeah, and yeah, that's the module name. And then uh, on line 18, I'm kind of logging the module name there to make sure I'm getting the module name. So if you look into the file, and look at the page structure we have two input elements there is a start date element which is type of type date and then there is end date and then there is a button which is used to submit the form or uh, yeah the search query when we are done so all we are going to do now is to submit the form and when we submit we have this try catch block and this uh we make a search query api uh, dot filter by date range which we've defined in our uh, uh, file i'll show you a bit later and yeah i'm saying if the status is 200 we want to set the return post plus data and yeah so this is the search query api and i'm going to show you where i'm getting it from this is a file and i've defined fetch web filter by date range and with a parameter of data, data. Um, and then I submit, I submit it over to the API, uh, to the API, which is the backend code. And so I'll show. Let me show you. Let me show you a filter by date um, API route. This is it. And in there, I have an asynchronous function, and I'm doing some imports, which is the I'm going to show you the constants, the modules uh, from constant, and I'm using it across, since it's a Next.js application, uh, the, both the front end and the back end are uh, like in the same file, uh, same kind of parent directory, which is the app. So uh, what I'm doing is getting the table and the module name, and then I'm running this query as select from the table name where dates, uh, the dates, I have it that column name as created at between the range uh, the date range and then I'm getting the result and I'm getting the result and then I'm sending it over to the client side. Let's take a look again at um, the filter by date component. So this kind of the structure again and yeah the name is filter by date and then the modules then we come to our table this is where we are kind of uh going to display the results that we run, we get from the filter by date component uh by getting the results from the api so uh we have to display we have to do something with the data that you get back so and that's that's the whole point so yeah and this filter by date component is like reusable. So I have, if you look at the, uh, on the left side of my code file structure, you see lots of folders and lots of components. So there are uh, also lots of pages that are going to require this filter by date component. And then I'll just include them. And that's the whole point of using React uh, or Next.js. So I'll just import the component and then 
and reuse them in the folders as I require them. So now let's look at the database as well. So I have this uh, database that I'm using for the project, and this is just a, a chunk. Of, this is just a bit of uh, the project. And if you look into the man hours uh, table, we have some columns there. There's ID number of staff, number of uh, month of days in the month that the uh, employee or the man, the person worked. And there is number of hours worked daily by the person. And then there's a total and a created by column, which, uh, yeah, which we have the uh, resp uh, respective, respective um, data types assigned to them. So, yeah. Okay, let's head back to the application. And now, once, uh, since it has been wired, the API has been wired, now let's have a try. We already have a first to second date range selected, so let's send, and this is the result that we have. And since it's just one row in the database, uh, and it's uh, it satisfies the query, uh, so it's returned the, the, the one row that we, we needed. Okay, so had we selected like from 3rd to 4th of January, we get a different result, but look here, we have props of uh, module name and uh, added get results. So once we get the results, this, you know, this is a component, uh, an isolated component on its own. So once you get the data from one component, how do you pass it to the, other, the rest of the components that you need there? So we are not using a state management uh, library like readout or anything. So this is how we do, we get the results from here and then we set it, we set it to, uh, we get it from this filter by date component and then we send it over here to the component that we are reusing in there. And then we, in this case, we are just logging it, but in real use case, we are just going to update the state here and then we display on the table on this page. All right. Thank you for watching and Please subscribe if you haven't, uh, it really helps the channel. And as you see, the, the subscribers on this channel is really, really small. So help, help this channel by growing it and then subscribing. Thank you.